Hello and welcome to tutorial 83 in the series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're watching this on YouTube, then please visit our website at markplex.com and sign up for our email list and I'll let you know when I release new tutorials or programs. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can write an indicator to show information about winning trades in a strategy. And uh, I've created a little example strategy and uh, an example indicator. But first, I just wanted to uh, to respond to a number of people who've asked me what they would do if they wanted me to write a program for them. And uh, probably the best thing is to send me an email with a brief description of what you want, and then I can study that and perhaps even come back with uh, questions and then give you a quote. And uh, bear in mind that if you're on my email list, then you're entitled to a 10% discount off my usual rates. If you're a Gold Pass member, you're entitled to a 20% discount. Also, I'm often asked about confidentiality of programs, and I just wanna reassure everyone that uh, when I write a program, I do not then subsequently sell that program on my site. Okay, so you can see on the, uh, the screen here a strategy and uh, indicator applied to the strategy and uh, this is what we're going to be creating here and I'll explain what these lines mean as we go through but first of all let's just look at the uh, strategy that I created and uh, it's just a very simple moving average crossover strategy I've created value one is equal to the average of close over 10 bars and let me just move that into the and uh, value two is average uh, for the close over five bars. And I've said, if value two crosses above value one, then buy next bar at market. If value two crosses below value one, then sell short next bar at market. And uh, we'll look at this, uh, this thing here, value three equals net profit, as we do the equivalent thing in the indicator. But what I just wanted to outline at this point is that the keywords to find the net profit for a strategy are different from those which you'd use in an indicator to find the net profit for a companion strategy. Okay, so let's uh, go to the indicator. Now, you uh, you probably noticed that uh, I've already created the indicator. I'm just gonna refresh this now, and as we do that, then those lines will disappear off the chart uh, because this uh, particular indicator is already applied to the workspace so if we would just go back you'll see now that that's empty and uh, what I'm going to do is just create the indicator from scratch now first thing to note is there are a number of keywords that are available to grab information about a strategy applied to the chart and I've just listed them here if you want to know more about any of them you can uh, copy them right click them and uh, you'll get some information but the one that we're going to be particularly looking at is I closed equity. So let me just start developing this program. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna create a variable called closed net prof. And this is going to store the closed net profit. In other words, trades that have already closed on the chart, the value is gonna be stored in here. So we're gonna say closed net prof is equal to I closed equity. I'm just going to copy this, save some typing, like so. Okay, so I'm going to press F3 just to make sure we haven't made any spelling mistakes so far. And so what we're going to do is say if closed net equity, in other words, what it is this bar, is greater than what it was last bar, then we know that we've just closed the trade. We know two things. We've closed the trade and also it's been a profitable trade. So we're going to store various pieces of information now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create another variable. We're going to call it last trade P is equal to, and uh, last trade P, this is going to be the profit of the last trade. So we need to create another variable. 
Incidentally, if you're a Gold Plus member, I'm going to make this program available for, for free just uh, underneath this video. So that is equal to the closed net profit, this bar, minus the closed net profit, the previous bar. And incidentally, one of the limitations of this technique is it can only be used if we assume that the program, the strategy program, will only generate one trade per bar. If it does more than one trade per bar, then we've got some problems. In fact, it just uh, will work, but it will just be inaccurate. So we're going to say num wins. It's going to be another variable we're going to create. And this is just storing the number of winners on a chart. So what we can do is just increment that by one. And let's just create a variable. Just going to copy that. And then what we're also going to do is we want to store the sum of all the wins. So I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to call it tot, tot wins np equals the value of that it's already stored in that plus the profit that we've just made in the last profitable trade so let's just uh, make sure we've got an input for this or rather a variable for this I'm gonna declare a variable set it to zero initially and uh, what we also want to know is the average win and that of course is equal to the total profit so far which is this amount here divided by the number of wins so far and then if we wanted to know the max win that is equal to the max list of max win and the most recent trade profit, which we're storing in last trade P. So copy that in there like so. And uh, we need to make sure that we've got a variable called max win. Like so. Okay, so what we're going to do now is do some plotting. Or rather, let's first of all just close this begin end. So plot one, we're going to plot the average win. And plot two, we're going to plot the max win. Like so. OK, so let's uh, verify that. See if we've made any typing errors, which we have, as usual. So one of the things I forget forgot to uh, declare this variable average win. So I'm just going to do that right now. Okay, you're going to press F3 again. Okay, I think we're good. So if we go to the chart now, you'll see some lines. Now these are, we've got a, a blue line which you can't see very well and a red line. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more to these plot statements. I'm going to give this one a name. I'm going to call it the same as the thing we're plotting. And I'm going to give it a color. And similarly for the max win, and I'm going to give it a color of white, which will contrast better with uh, with our blue background. Make sure that we've got a close quotes. Okay, let's press F3 again and uh, see what we've got. Okay, so you can see that the white line is representing the maximum win as we go along, and this red line is representing the the average and you can see that that can go up and it could go down a little bit if we've had a, 
less profitable trade the most recent trade okay i'm just going to do one more thing and that is what if you were interested in the average win but only for the last so many bars let's just say for the sake of argument 50 bars so we would probably want to do something like this plot three and what we want to do is take the to total wins mp which is the total wins up to the current bar and we want to subtract from that what that value was 50 bars ago so it's the same thing apart from we're going to put 50 in the square brackets I'm going to put brackets around both of these because we also need to divide that by the num wins which is the number of wins up to the current bar minus the num wins 50 bars ago in this case and again I'm just going to put brackets around this just to clarify what we're doing and it's going to give this a name I'm going to call it av wins 50 and I'm going to give it a color like so now the only problem with this is that if we've not had any wins yet then we could find a situation where the denominator is zero which is not a good thing so what I'm going to uh, do to stop that happening is say um, if num wins minus num wins 50 bars ago is greater than zero then plot three and uh, all the other stuff okay so let's uh, press f3 and oops let's just uh, double check our syntax okay I'll put two square brackets there so that's a mistake let's press F3 again and uh, what we should see now is an additional line on the chart which is a line representing the average win but only over the last 50 bars so uh, finally you probably noticed right at the beginning of this tutorial that uh, we looked at the strategy and uh, I mentioned that strategies use this keyword net profit rather than the keyword that we're using here I closed equity and uh, what I did I stored that in value 3 and I said if value 3 in other words if net profit this bar is greater than the previous profit the previous bar then we know that we've just closed the trade and uh, we know that we've got a profit for that trade so what I've done I've created a little print statement that prints that profit and what we can do is add a similar statement to the indicator so let's just do that I'm just going to put it in here and I'm going to say print date time I'm going to make sure this comes up with indicator so we know that it's being generated by the indicator and I'm going to put in here the value of last trade P so if I let's, uh, let's just copy this after last trade P otherwise we're going to get some spurious results so I'm going to put in last trade P here which should be the equivalent to the thing that we were calculating and printing in the strategy okay I'm going to verify that and I'm going to go to the chart we're going to go view easy language print log and uh, what I'm going to do is just clear this and uh, then just refresh the chart and what we should see is the same values being calculated in the strategy and in the indicator so you'll see for the, for the indicator on the 1250 bar we're showing that the uh, last profit was 64 and uh, you can see here in the strategy it's coming up the same value 720 bar net profit 53 53 640 618 618 and so on anyway hopefully you will find this useful and as i say if you're a gold pass member i'm going to make these uh, these two programs available for you to uh, copy and uh, experiment with yourself below this video so thank you for your attention